Holy crap, there's about a mile of truck in my garage. So I didn't film bringing it home. Probably should have, it was a quite an adventurous day, but uh, I didn't. She's here, just barely in the door and comes all the way up to there. So uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of truck in here. Not a lot of room to work either. Uh, I was kind of hoping me a little bit more room in here and still get the bike in here so I can park the Nissan on the other side. But I don't know how that's going to work. Especially since uh, I got to go through everything in the box. Pull this box off to uh, work on the frame so we can get the tow truck stuff on it. Kind of got the boom mocked up. It sits a little low. I might have to raise it up a little bit. Um, depending on where the sling sits back here. So I'll have to take some measurements and see roughly where things are going to be. Nice little rhyme there. And then we'll uh, figure out where this needs to be height wise and forward and back wise. Let me put my headache rack on it. It's been on this truck before. This headache rack's been on pretty much every truck I've ever owned. Uh, let's go over the truck. So I can't remember if she's an 81 or an 82. I've had an 81 and I've had an 82. And I can't remember which one this one is. I believe it's the 82. Or maybe an 81. Damn it. Can't remember. Anyways. She's uh pretty rust free I mean like there's surface rust and stuff and this one wheel well it's got a little bit of a bubble rockers are clean back of the truck at the cab corners oh it's really dark and you can't really see anything but trust me when I say cab corners are clean and then the back of the truck is clean. Oh, actually, why don't we get some light in here? Hey, oh, there we go. Right, everything's clean. Both sides are like, like that. Uh, remember, I think it's on the other side. There's a little speck of rust. This is the only bad spot on the truck. It is the back door on the driver's side. Front door is a little bit but not like the back door here i don't think the other side's as bad just this one piece right here i might cut that out and patch that i'm not sure everything else like even here it's all just surface rust um now if you notice right there a little bit of the wheel while hanging down that's where this starts to get ugly i had a wheel come off on this thing and now we left that yeah I mean, mint box and one screw up wreck, wrecked it i should be able to straighten most of that out um see i got all the checker plating on this thing the tailgate the front and the side rails for protection or probably doing more damage than good but whatever um the box is pretty much like the box floor is all beat to hell same with the wheel wells and stuff so not too worried about cutting it up to make it into a tow truck because uh yeah it's not like i'm saving anything mint 
Uh, factory big block truck auto. Ooh, does that clear? Oh, it just clears that hood. Uh, interior is not in the greatest shape. It's got house carpet in it. Um, it's not the factory dash. It, and it's all cut up. Crap hanging down. Uh, it was originally a one-piece window. I switched it to a slider so I could have the sleeper on the back and access it. Um, now with it being a tow truck, I might put that back to the one-piece. I still have the one-piece. I'm not too sure. I like the slider. I prefer a slider, but I don't need it on this truck. Or maybe I will. I don't know. I do wish it had clearance lights on the top. I might try to figure out how to add some. I do have some. Could put them on here, make it nice. Uh, I believe she was hit in the front. Because when I got it, as you can see, that hood does not match that blue. And uh, the little valence under the grill is gold. And one of these frame horns is a little tweaked. I think it's this one. It's a little tweaked. So I think somebody hit a pole or something and kind of did some damage to the front. Still had the proper bumper on it. It doesn't anymore, but it had the proper 81, 82 bumper. Uh, yeah. Other than that, the frame's pretty good. The frame's pretty clean. Cab's all clean, like this truck is pretty immaculate. Other than, you know, kind of some surface rust here and there. I might try to patina this truck. It's kind of what I've always wanted to do to it. Kind of scuff this all up. Not gonna lie, now that it's in here, I'm not quite sure exactly where to go. Uh, especially since there's not a whole lot of room to work. Um, and I still haven't even brought home everything for the truck. I still got to bring home the front diff for the four-wheel drive conversion. I have all the leaf springs. I have all the proper brackets, everything. Except, actually, I don't have um, leaf spring mounts for right here. So I might have to go get those. <laughs> uh, find them somewhere. But other than that, I have everything I need. Drive shafts, brackets, leaf spring, shackles, diff. Uh, it's either going to be just a Dana 44 in this or a 10 bolt. Should be about 8 or 9 inches of lift. 35s maybe. And what I can find. I like to put the 40s on it, but that would be a little too tall. And I'd probably wreck wheel wells with only 8 inches of lift. And uh, probably blow up the front end then. So 35s. 35s for now. Um, yeah, got the SM465 Ford. It's in the box of the truck right now. Um, haven't rebuilt that yet. Probably will wait a while to do that, but I think I might try to do body lift first. I'm gonna do about six inch suspension, and I'm not sure if two or three inch body lift. Uh, mostly to clear the transfer case and uh, standard because I don't have the standard hump, and it is a two wheel drive cab. So it doesn't have the hump for the transfer case. Uh, so we're going to do a body lift. Not sure how high to go on that yet. I think just two inches to keep it kind of low. I don't want this truck stupid high. I can't tow anything. Uh, so I think I might... I'd like to get the big block in it as soon as I can. And get it running before it gets cold. But... I gotta convert all the frame and everything to four-wheel drive first, so I think I might do that. Might do the body lift, do the four-wheel drive in the front, put the motor and tranny in, then I'll work on the tow truck stuff. But for that, I'll probably actually have to take the cab and the box off, but hopefully by then all the, the other stuff's out of the box and on the front here. And then I'll do the frame, 
do the boom in the back. I'll convert all that. Hopefully it should go fairly smooth. I don't know. It's a lot of work. A lot of late nights ahead of me. Now well, these are the plugs out of the dually. And I'm still going to reuse them for this. Um, look at your plugs. will tell you a lot. Um, I wish I knew the order these came out in. Uh, I don't because my roommate and my wife pulled them out. Uh, so we could just get the big block out of the dually. Um, but if you look at them, as you can see, some are very, very clean. Some are very dirty. And then some are kind of so-so. So I believe these ones weren't even firing. Which might be why it was all sputtering and everything. So step one, clean myself a workspace. Kind of, sort of, not really check, sure, yeah. Uh, step two, get truck up to a workable height. That was a definite, a definite check. And uh, step three, make sure I'm not gonna die. All right, that's rocking pretty good and she's not falling. All right, yep. Okay, good. Start pulling the front end apart, I guess. And of course, even though they're not going on it, Gotta have a mock-up. That looks sexy. So I just remembered what I originally planned to do when I first got this home. The first step I wanted to do. Check the gearing in the rear. So uh, we're going to do that now. Because I believe it's actually 456 in this. So that means I don't have a matching front. Mine are all 410s. And I really don't want to switch gears. But there is for sale on the marketplace a Dana 44 that's all rebuilt hub to hub with 456 gears and I believe a locker. So let's check that gearing. Well, time for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, it's four tens, which is surprising. I thought it was 456 because it was normally screaming down the highway. It was like 3,000 RPMs at uh, 110 kilometers, not miles. Um, so, yeah, I always thought it was uh, 456. Um, good news about the 410s is that it matches my front diff that I'm putting in this. Um, the bad news is it doesn't match the diff I was looking at online, which had 456 gears. Um, but either way, whatever. One way I don't have to buy a diff. Uh, and now the ugly. If you didn't notice it already, yeah, that's metal. That's probably the, the pinion support bearing. Somewhere in there. Oh, I don't even see. What the hell? Okay. Uh, somewhere in there is metal shavings. Or is supposed to be a bearing, but it's metal shavings. So I can either rebuild this one, which the pinion bearings is not too bad, or I have another 14 bolt with a locker and it just doesn't have the drums on it. I uh, always had to find kind of a, another donor to get the drums, pick and pull or whatever. But uh, I'm thinking this one might be the donor for... I'll take the brakes off this one. Put them on that one. And then put that one under here. It's got four tens and a locker. 